So what's the secret to happiness? Why is it that very few people actually live a happy life and the majority of the people that we know just go by? One of the most watched TED Talks ever is a TED Talk called A Good Life. I'm 39 years old, I'm happy, I'm free, and I want to share that with you. I'm sure you're going to get a great result because it's made for you. Let's go. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. So I remember when I was very, very young, maybe 18, 19, and I actually decided that the point of life was not to be just rich. Don't get me wrong, money plays a big part in a lot of things that we do in the capitalist world. But I realized that being free was better than being rich. Preach. What I'm gonna share with you today is a formula, and it's made by five letters. S-H-A-P-E, shape. If you want to be happy in life, you got to be in shape. And I'm not talking about physical shape or not just mental shape, spiritual shape. I'm talking about this template that I've created and these five letters, they stand for a few things that you need to do. You need to take action in order to achieve a happy life. When I was young, I remember maybe 19 or 20 years old. I wanted to be able to live anywhere in the world and do whatever I wanted with my life and enjoy my life and add value to people. Fast forward 20 years, here I am. I live in Australia, my family is happy. I live my dream every day. I wake up with a mission. I do what I love, I love what I do. So this is why I wanna share this with you. I think it works. And if you do it, I think it will work for you too. In that formula, the letter S stands for seriousness. You have to take things seriously. I've heard a lot of people say this, from the likes of Jim Rohn to Tony Robbins, get serious. Ask yourself this question. What is the kind of life that you want to live? And then you ask the second question. What are the people around you or that you can see that actually live that life? Once you've asked yourself these questions, then you ask yourself a third question. Can you respect any one of these people that you have envisioned if they don't take it seriously? The answer is obvious. Of course not. Life is a serious business. Life is not a joke. The reality is that your life will go by, whether you like it or not. And you will see it going by in front of your eyes. The question is, what do you do with the days that you have? When you wake up in the morning and you have 86,400 seconds, what do you do with which one of them? Here is a quote that when I heard it, it just messed up with my head. If your dream is a hobby, all you get out of it is recreation. If you wanna see serious results in your life when it comes to being happy, being fulfilled, winning, call it whatever you want, you have to take it seriously. And the S that stands for seriousness also stands for settings. If I'm trying to film something, and if I set this camera up, if I put this camera up on 30 frames per second, this is what I'm gonna get out of it, 30 frames per second. And if I set it up to 60 frames per second, this is what I'm gonna, gonna get out of it, 60 frames per second. I cannot expect this camera to give me a video that is 24 frames per second if I record it in 60 frames per second. Actually, I can't. it's very technical. <laughs> I can't expect this camera to give me 120 frames per second on a slow motion video if I'm recording a normal video on 30 frames per second. Settings are a configuration in your hardware, in your brain. You have to adjust your settings. This is why it's called mind set. You have to set your mind properly. If you set it to freedom, you will achieve freedom. If you set it to wealth, you will achieve Wealth, if you set it to poverty, you will achieve, guess what? Poverty. It's a setting and you have to adjust. A third of the world population that this won't apply, okay? Maybe the circumstances are just more powerful than their mindset. I understand that. But for you, you're part of the 10% of the world. You can adjust your mindset. Settings will do to you what you program them to do for you. You see, I work out five days a week, every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now, it doesn't work every week, but this is the goal. This is the setting. So Mondays and Tuesdays, I drive my car at 4.30 in the morning so I can go run on the beach. I like to run on the beach, expose myself to the sun. It's a good exercise. Wednesday and Thursday, I go to the gym, hit the weights hard. And Friday, I do a general workout. It's a setting. It's set over here. Now, there are days in the morning that I wake up and I don't want to do it, but it's a setting. My, my configuration is pushing me towards it. Why? Because I've adjusted the settings a long time ago and this has become 
a lifestyle. Another example, I work very hard at what I do. And a lot of people say to me, oh, you gotta take a break. I do need a break. I need a break from these people. They keep telling me to take a break Whoa. because I love what I do. It's a setting. I have adjusted my settings. You can go much faster with a hundred people who are willing to go to the same place as you are than with one person hanging on your neck, dragging you down. You don't want to be around the people who are just negative all the time, pulling you down. No, you want to be around people who are positive and are pushing you forward and are celebrating your success. Hey, talking about positive people, I'm sure you're a positive person. And I'd like to ask you something. If you can, hit the subscribe button right here. That'll help us spread this content to more people like yourself. I want to add value to people's lives. I wake up every day with this mission in my heart and in my mind, which I have summarized to this acronym called LIVE, L-I-V-E. Love God and love people every day, inspire people every day through my content, add value to their lives and empty myself every single day. If you've watched this video so far, you've realized that we don't do the trend thing and the dancing videos and all of that. I think that's all rubbish. That's all foolish. I don't use the internet for that and I'm pretty sure you don't either. So if you're, if you're just like me and you like what you're watching, hit the subscribe button, uh, be part of the community and you'll be notified every time we get new videos coming in and then you can share to other people. All right, let's go back to the content. H stands for hard work. You got to work hard. You know, a lot of people say you got to work smart, not hard. You know what? Working smart only works for people who work really, really hard. No one becomes fully satisfied without hard work. I remember when I was young, I used to play basketball. I wasn't the best. I was the hardest worker on the floor. I remember when I was cut from the team on the first trial, I trained for a whole year. And when I went on to the second trial one year later, still I wasn't the best but I was working hard the coach saw it put me on I played for a couple of years I was just you know a, a role player camp, coming out of the bench on the third year I made it to the team I made it to the starters next thing you know I'm making it on the scoreboard next thing you know five years later my name is on the records for the state championships hard work was I the best no a lot of people playing with me were better than me but I was a hard worker I remember this guy gave an interview talking about Kobe Bryant, I forgot his name, and he said that they had a game, he walked into the arena, no one was in there, he was just trying to get a feel for it, getting the vibe. Kobe was practicing, shooting shots. It's like, you know what, I'm gonna come to the Staples Center, because we're playing, this is when the Lakers had Kobe and Shaq, okay? This is, this is like the championship Lakers. So you know, I'm gonna get there at three o'clock, and I wanna make sure I make 400 made shots before I go back into the room, and then I sit in the zone and I get ready for the game. Who do I see? I see Kobe Bryant, already working out. So once I set my foot across that line, I started working out. And so I worked out for a good hour, hour and a half. And when I came off, after I was done, I sat down, and of course I still heard the ball bounce. I look down, I'm like, this guy's, this guy's still working out? So he was working out, like, it looks like he was in a dead sweat when I got here. And he's still going. And it's not like his moves are nonchalant, <laughs> lazy. He's doing like game moves. You know, um, I sit there and I unlace my shoes. I'm like, I want to see how long this goes. I sit out there and watch another 25 minutes. And he got done. I said, okay, I think I've seen enough. Go play, you know, come back, get in the sauna, get ready for the game. That game, he drops 40 on us, okay? And after the game is over, I'm like, I, I have to ask this guy. Like, I, I have to understand, like, why, why he, he works like that. Right. So after the game, I'm like, hey, Cove, like, why, why were you in the gym for so long? He's like, because I saw you come in. <laughs> and, I, and I wanted you to know that it doesn't matter how hard you work, that I'm willing to work harder than you. Wow. You just, you inspire me to be better. That sets the tone. Work hard. You know, there is an author called Malcolm Gladwell. He wrote a book called Outliers. And it tells the stories about a lot of people who are very good at what they do in it. He introduced this concept that just became very famous around the world about 10,000 hours. 10,000 hours. You need 10,000 hours of activity on anything in order to become good at it. Got to work hard. Do your four, five, ten years worth of it. And then if you don't achieve anything, you go back. You know, there's this formula. Again, Alex Hermosi shared his formula in a lot of the videos that he shared. Attempts times time equals progress. You got to try the same thing a lot of times for a long period of time so you get good at it. Another thing very important about working hard, there is this rule that Tony Robbins shares all the time, the two millimeter rule. It's a level where you are not one of the best, you are 
the best. And you know what's amazing? You only have to be two million meters more than everybody else and you get everything. You get the joy, the laughter, the fun, the family, the passion, the economics, the freedom, the spirit. It's all there. What Jerry Maguire called the Quan. You want to be happy? You want to achieve happiness? You want to be fulfilled? Well, the bad news is you got to work hard. Everyone that I know that is very happy with their lives, that is content with their lives, I surround myself with people who are content, who are happy, with fulfilled in their lives. They're not chilling on the beach. They are working. Work fulfills us. A stands for autopilot. Auto pilot and while we at it let's just throw another a in there for artificial intelligence boy oh boy artificial intelligence is making our life much much easier and there is no way back ai has arrived and it's the new kid on the block and it's gonna take a lot of jobs and i know like gary v says ai is the tractor most people worked on farms back in the day and then a tractor came out and everyone's like fuck that we're all out of fucking jobs and then people found new jobs. So what do I think? I think you can have any opinion you want. Technology doesn't give a shit about your opinion. When I was making this video that you're watching, I built the script and then I put the script against an AI technology and I said, make the script better. Give me a few tips, optimize it for YouTube. Here it is. It doesn't feel like it was that bad at all. AI is coming, there is no way around it. A stands for artificial intelligence, it stands for autopilot. Tim Ferriss wrote a book called The Four Hours Work Week. And that was a long time ago before technology, email was just arriving. And yes, if that book was written today, Tim Ferriss himself said that he probably would have said something different. But you go back to the concept and, and, and you realize that sometimes three hours of focused work will be much more efficient than eight hours of distraction and lazy work. What can you autopilot in your life? My calendars, for example, they're all on autopilot. This is the time to go to the gym. This is the time to have coffee with people. This is the time to prepare. This is the time to think. This is the time to read. And it's all in there. There is no room in my calendar. And I fit the activities according to their categories in that calendar. Time is like money. If you don't tell it where it goes, you will be lost. If you don't know where your money goes, you will be lost. You'll go broke. Same thing with time. You'll go time broke. Why? Because you don't know where the time is going. So set your calendars. Put it on autopilot. What can you put on autopilot? And when you autopilot a lot of things, that will free up time for you to do your auto image. Here's an exercise that I, I did a long time ago and I do it every now and again. I look in the mirror. I ask myself this question. What do I see? Not who do I see, what do I see? Because what do I see, the definition of what that person is will tell me if I'm fulfilled, happy or not. And if I know the answer to that question, I know what I gotta change. If you look at that mirror and you don't really like the results that you're getting, you don't really like the answer you're getting, that's your tip, that's your hint. These are the steps that you gotta take in order to change what you see. After all, as a man thinks, so is he, right? It's all in here. Remember the first part of this video, mindset. You gotta shift that mindset. I could recommend a book by Carol Dweck called Mindset. It talks about growth and fixed mindsets. That'll help you understand a lot of the ways you think. It's an amazing book. I've read it, trust me, I read a lot of books. Yo, let's take a break again. You know, one of the things that I hate in videos like this is ads. And one of the reasons why we do what we do is because we believe that people consume a lot of video and audio these days. That's why we created this community on Patreon. Over there, there's some exclusive content, extended videos, interviews on podcasts, access to early discounts to a lot of things that we do like books and merchandise and all of that. If you want to support what we're doing, I would recommend you to go to Patreon and just join the community. Man, it's, I mean, super affordable and it helps us spread the word and use platforms like YouTube and social media to spread the word of Jesus and inspire people. And it's just, it's an amazing thing. If you really consume content and if it adds value to you, maybe it's a good idea to support your favorite creators. Head over there. The link's in the description. You can join us in our community and I would really appreciate that. Well, let's go back to the video so we can finish this. Now, the letter P stands for progress. Study your progress. Les Brown has this famous video where he says, practice makes what? And people respond, 
perfection. And he goes, no, practice makes progress. If your life is a project, you need to learn how to understand progress. So divide your life in seasons. You know, I have a content on my channel and you can you can find it on my channel talking about the seasons of life, 20, 30s, 40, 50s and 60s. And you have to understand how to finish those cycles and celebrate each win. So one big project becomes a lot like tens or hundreds of little projects. If you're stuck on perfection, you get nowhere. Progress is the key. If you don't have a plan, which is my next P, progress and plan. Perfect. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. You know, Simon Sinek wrote this amazing book. Matter of fact, I got it here. The Infinite Game. Life is an infinite game. And the goal of an infinite game is to continue to play. The plan is your roadmap. And you just follow the roads. And every now and again, you will take different curves. And there are mountains and there are hills. and Yeah, okay. But make a plan. If you don't have a plan, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. I understand that some people won't have the same privilege. It's the hand you're being dealt. So my guess is that you watching the video, you're not one of those. You can only change what you touch. Stop worrying about the things that you don't have. Stop worrying about the things that you haven't achieved. And start worrying about the things that you can change. The letter E, it stands for entrepreneur. You have to become an entrepreneur. I don't know any employee who is free. What? No employee will ever be free. You can get rich. You can actually be happy at your job, but you will never be free. And I have a feeling that happiness comes with freedom. You can only be happy in life if you're free. You have to be free. I don't care if you want to set up a business or invest or whatever it is. You have to take a different course. You have to take a different route. Even while you work a nine to five job, you put some money aside, put some energy aside, put some skills aside, set something else up. Because if you don't do it, you will always be dependent on other people. Unfortunately, I have to say that you are a slave. Why? Because you swap your time for money. Nowadays, there are great jobs to be held. Nowadays, you can consider yourself a luxury slave. You know, you get a lot of money, but you're not free. So here's the formula. S stands for seriousness and settings. You have to take it seriously and you have to adjust the settings. H stands for hard work. You got to work hard. A stands for autopilot and auto image. What do you see in the mirror and what can you put on autopilot? P stands for progress and plan. You have to divide your life in little seasons and understand the progress you're making and you have to make a plan. Where do you see yourself in 10, 20, 30 years? The next decades. Where do you see yourself at the end of your life? Don't be like most people who regret their lives at the end. No, look back and rejoice. Make a plan. And E stands for entrepreneur. You have to become an entrepreneur. Without being an entrepreneur of any sorts, you will never be free. And I have a feeling that if you're never free, you're never happy. Now, there's a reason why 90% of the people in the world are employees. And I think that's going to change. But there's a reason why. Because these secrets have been hidden from us. But I promise you, if you take these keys and if you take these hacks and if you apply them to your life, whatever it is that you like, you don't have to do it all. And you don't have to do it just like me. And you'll find your formula. But if you take the principles out of this video and apply it to your life day by day for a long season, I promise you, you will see different results i do hope that you have enjoyed this video this has been amazing i love creating content like this and like i said before we have a community on patreon that has more exclusive stuff extended content interviews and podcasts and access to discounts and early access and all of that if i were you and i'm really enjoying what i'm getting out of these videos i would jump to patreon and join our community there it's really affordable and you help us continue our mission to love god and love people every day inspire people through the content add value to their lives real value not just fake value and empty ourselves every day so if that's you jump on patreon i would love to have you there other than that i hope you enjoy it there is a little playlist over here that i would love for you to watch here on youtube that'll give you a broader idea of what you what we do and if you did like it subscribe to the channel maybe leave your comment that'll be really cool all right love sharing this with you i'll see you on the next one even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never ran sitting on man i still go go